Hey there, YouTubers. Um, first off, I would like to thank everyone for their well wishes regarding my surgery. Unfortunately, it was not successful. Um, and I do need to have another procedure done at the end of uh, this month, August. Um, so I had a stent put in, a, a uterine stent put in, uh, which was supposed to help get the kidney stone out. Um, actually, what was supposed to happen was the doctor uh, put the stent in and then was supposed to go in with a laser and break up the stone. Um, but that wasn't possible because apparently um, because of my disability uh, and because it happened so early in life, um, the organs in the lower half of my body uh, inside are smaller than the average adult. Um, so he had a really hard time doing anything at all. Um, so rather than try to force the uh, instrument with the laser in, he just said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to stop and, uh, we'll try again, something again at another time. Um, so I have to have that stent taken out. Um, but anyway, thank you for the well wishes. I really appreciate them. And I will keep you updated on uh, the next procedure. Um, although I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a video right before I have it done because that was kind of stressful for me. So probably skip that and just do one afterwards. Um, anyway, so this video is going to be about something that's a bit of a departure from my usual videos because usually I just uh, either show things regarding my disability or talk about things regarding disabilities in general and this is in a way sort of tangentially related to disabilities um, but it's it's not solely focused on that um, so uh, UBI or universal basic income actually I think I said that backwards universal basic income or UBI is uh, something that's become um, sort of a hot issue recently. Uh oh, there's the phone. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. Um, any hoozles. So, yeah, universal basic income. Um, it's becoming a hot issue recently because of A, automation. Machines are taking the jobs of people, um, and they can do the jobs better than people and cheaper than people. So, you know, why are companies going to hire? Uh, a person to, to, do, to do a job that a machine can do. So this means less jobs or fewer jobs for uh, people. Um, also, as a, a disabled person, I find this in issue interesting because I understand how difficult it can be to earn money if you have a disability. Um, as you probably know if you follow if you've been following my videos for a while, um, I'm a musician, so I make a little bit of money from that. I'm an author, so I make a little bit of money from that. I'm an actor, I make a little bit of money from that. I make a little bit of money in a lot of different areas. Um, so universal basic income is something that I've been following to, to see where it's going to go, because I think it could be something that would really help uh, the disabled community in particular. Uh, and also, one of the current Demo Democratic uh, ca candidates for president, well, for the primary, uh, Andrew Yang, is, as far as I know, the only candidate that has ever even brought up the idea of having a, a UBI or a univers universal basic income. Anyway, that's not really what this video is about. It's more about cryptocurrencies, as you can you could tell from the title. Um, so, not all cryptocurrencies are aiming to be a form of UBI, Universal Basic Income. Some of them are. Um, well, first of all, I should go back a little bit. Cryptocurrencies, uh, I guess, you've probably heard of Bitcoin. That might be the only one you've heard of. Uh, but there are there are numerous other projects out there. There's um, Litecoin, which is a fork of Bitcoin. Uh, it boasts faster uh, transactions, cheaper fees, and some other features. Uh, there's Ethereum, and that's 
a, a completely different one from Litecoin and Bitcoin, where you can actually, uh, it supports decentralized applications. So if you think of something like, um, of, let's say your favorite game, your favorite game is uh, made by a company and it's on a centralized server. So Ethereum and some other similar uh, cryptos like um, Cardano and uh, let's see, Arc maybe, um, aim to create a, a system where games or programs or websites can be made um, but they're, they'd be decentralized, meaning no, no one single person or no one single corporation would be in charge of them. Um, so that's, that's sort of the big thing with cryptocurrencies, is the decentralization. Um, and the ones that are trying to start this idea of a universal basic incomes um, are distributing their their currency for free. All you have to do is either sign up with an email or sign up with a smartphone app or something like that and you can earn this their cryptocurrency for free whether it's via a faucet meaning a website or app that gives you a specific amount or a varied amount of cryptocurrency every day or every hour or even every half hour every 15 minutes whatever um, so a lot of them are doing things like that or some of them and now this is getting to what I had in my topic title like uh, Banano is uh, it's not really their aim isn't really to be a type of universal basic income but it is along those lines I think uh, so you can earn their cryptocurrency for free in a lot of different ways. Um, there are different games, and the reason I'm doing this video now is specifically is because one of their games is coming up um, tomorrow, Saturday. Um, so there are different games. There's a game called Black Monkey, and what it is, so Banano is the name of the cryptocurrency, and it's a fork of, the, of another cryptocurrency called Nano which is very fast, um, and Banano is fee-less, and as I mentioned, it's distributed for free. So it's, I think, one of the better projects out there. Um, obviously, I think Bitcoin is, is good, and Bitcoin is king right now, but Banano is, like, one of my favorites. So anyway, there's, there are these games. Black Monkey is one of them. What you do is, on the website, so you have to go to this website and input your address. So this is an address, or wallet address, is how you earn, or where you store your coins, or your tokens. Um, and so you put in your address, you have to sign up for a wallet first. Um, and there's a great wallet called, um, I don't know why I look that way, I guess I was looking at my cell phone. Um, but there's a great um, smartphone uh, wallet called Kalium. It's K-A-L-I-U-M. And it's super duper easy to use, really, uh, really user friendly. Um, you can set it up so that you can uh, have it protected with a fingerprint. Um, and it's really fun. It's actually fun to use, which is kind of weird. Um, because, so the name of the cryptocurrency, as I mentioned, is Banano. And Every wallet has a monkey, M-O-N-K-E-Y. K-E-Y is your address, basically. So it's it's all themed on monkeys and bananas and stuff like that, which is it's kind of funny. And that's probably why it's called a meme coin. Like um, if you if you're familiar with Dogecoin or Dogecoin, maybe D-O-G-E-C-O-I-N. It's another fork of Bitcoin. Uh, but it's it's based on memes. Um, the uh, Shiba Inu or Ainu, I never I can never remember how to pronounce that. The meme that goes around the internet with the dog. Um, so anyway, well, back to the how to earn banana. Um, 
one of the ways is this game called Black Monkey, and it the website shows you five a picture of five or five different monkeys, or maybe it's six. I can't remember right now. Um, anyway, and they're all slightly different. So one of them may have a hat on. And that's the one you need to click in order to earn a, a banana or a, a portion of a banana. You earn more as you go on in the game. Um, so there'll be, as I mentioned, there'll be five or six monkeys. And then, so they'll have different sort of uh, accessories. Hats, glasses, um, mittens maybe, a shirt, pants. And you need to pick the one that's different from the rest. Um, so that's a really kind of fun and interesting way to earn some banana. There are other ways as well. There's a, fa a, a regular faucet where you just input your address and uh, click, um, like, send me some banana, and it'll send you a small, a, li a very small amount just for doing that. Uh, you can do that once a day. Black Monkey happens once every couple of weeks, or once every three weeks, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Then there's uh, the meme faucet, where you have to um, describe different pictures, or different um, memes. Then I'm just going to take a look at my bookmarks, because I'm forgetting some stuff right now. Um, meme faucet. Oh, then there's also the crane faucet um, and that's another website you can use to earn banana so there are all these different websites that you can use to earn uh, banana and you can find all of this information at the main banana website which is banano.cc and it'll tell you everything you need to know about Banano, everything you need to know about how to earn it, how to store it, all that stuff. Um, so, other ways you can earn Banano, and this is another great part of their system, is you can earn Banano if you have a Reddit account, and you, excuse me, and if you, this is actually how I found out about Banano. I made a comment on a post, and somebody tipped me Banano, and I was just... Okie doke, sorry about that, I'm back again. So, the way I learned about Banano is I posted something on Reddit, and somebody apparently, I don't know who it was, somebody apparently liked my post, and or I don't remember who it was, and tipped me Banano. And I was just like, what, what the... I already knew about cryptocurrencies before, because uh, I started getting into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and NEO, and uh, Cardano, and stuff in 2017. Um... But I was just like, what the heck is this banana? Um, so I researched it, and I was like, oh, this is this is really cool. So you can get tipped for making good comments on Reddit, or on Twitter, or on uh, some other s sites or other apps, uh, like Discord, if you have that app. Um, and I was just like, wow, this is a really neat idea. What a, like, what a phenomenal idea that you can earn... This, I mean, it's very often it's small bits of money, like a, f a few cents. But the fact that that this is out there, and this is, I, and I truly believe cryptocurrencies are the future. Um, I don't know, I don't know what one's going to succeed, but I know, I know that's where the future is headed in terms of money. So I was just like, wow, this, like, this really is, this is really cool idea. So anyway, I wanted to tell you all about uh, Banano and cryptocurrencies in general, if you haven't heard of them before, um, and specifically tell you about it right now because of the Black Monkey game, which I mentioned starts tomorrow. It's round, I think, 14, but I will just make sure of that real quickly. Uh, let me just take a look on Reddit real quick. Uh, 
Yes, round 14. So it lasts for 24 hours, starts tomorrow, and it's fun, and it's a good way to sort of get your feet wet and learn about Banano and learn about cryptocurrencies if you don't already know about them. Um, and it's also a really good way, if you already do know about cryptocurrencies, it's a good way to, to teach other people about them, because as I mentioned, it's it's fun, like, it's interesting. Getting cryptocurrencies like Ethereum or Bitcoin, it's pretty much just like, you buy them and that's it. Um, but Banano, there's all these little games and neat kind of ways of tipping that you can earn it or send it to someone, and it's just, I think it's a really, really phenomenal idea, and uh, so I wanted to do a video about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.